It's time for another episode of the Talk It To Me podcast starring Philip Smith, Tim Klingman, and Casey Hayes. We're back at it again with another episode of the Talk It To Me podcast with a new format, new year. Everything looks cool and fresh and new. As always, it's Philip Smith. Hi, it's Tim. Hola, it's Casey. Yeah, we're back again. New format. That's right. As you guys know, the show looks a little updated. We've changed some things. Our stories are displayed as we're talking about them. We're having a whole lot of fun here. So, uh, guys, has anything, any games you've been playing? Anything you you done recently since the new year started? I started playing Soul Calibur VI, and uh, I recommend it. It is a good game. Uh, the Definitely the customization settings for your character are a lot more bare bones than they were before, because, of course, they're going to chop that up and sell it back to you. Um, but the gameplay's fun, and it's definitely... Uh, you know, the same classic gameplay with a little bit of updates, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, it does get fucking hard as shit later. <laughs> well, I started playing Injustice 2 again, and um, Destiny 2 again. Oh, also I played Red Dead 2, which was really good. <laughs> yeah, uh, for the most part, like, I've been playing a lot of, uh, a lot of Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, me too. Yeah. I just, I just caught Mewtwo. Go to hell, Tim. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, I wish you guys could see what I see right now, because our our format now is so much better. Like, it looks so much cooler than mm. it did. Like, it looks like we're professionals at this kind of stuff. Yeah. It looks like we know what we're doing. Hmm. Well, but I'm Phillip, not going to go that far. That's just lying to the people. I just heard myself through Casey's mic. I need to talk quieter. Quit being so yeah. loud, Tim. Anyway, uh, we're... I gotta be real quiet. <laughs> Always shut up, Tim. Just be quiet. That makes this <laughs> podcast is pure silence. Go to hell, Tim. You just need to stop. Oh, fine. I'll just be quiet. Forever. Be, be quiet forever, Tim. Permanently. That's stop living on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get started and talk about Game of Thrones. The season premiere date has been revealed. Uh, Game of Thrones will be coming out April 14th. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty. Uh, the trailer is pretty cool. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I view. I viewed the trailer that everybody's been posting on, like, Facebook and stuff like that. So if we're talking about the same trailer, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but I'm sure there's an Easter egg in there somewhere, but uh, it it's, doesn't really show you much. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just them like, walking through a crypt. Yes, but, I mean, still, though, it's the characters that, you know, and, and then they're all like, ah! Yeah, but I am stoked for the new season. Yeah, I I'm expecting a lot of big things out of it. I just really uh I really can't wait. It'll be cool. Yeah. No, I don't think anybody can really wait for the new Game of Thrones stuff. Yeah. If we're being perfectly honest, I'm excited for it and I haven't thought about it at all at the same time, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, it's uh I've been waiting since for like almost two years now because it takes forever for them to get this done. So I'm excited. Yep. It should be fun. The final season guys, it's upon us. You know, Jon Snow's going to have a three eyed baby, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say that, you know, a little bit, of, a little bit of inbreeding. Oh, uh, well, just, that's fair. Just a little bit of inbreeding, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I dig this. I want to talk about this because it's cool. I can't wait. Uh, 
Then, let's see, a surprise, Aquaman did really good. Arguably the lamest superhero in the DC universe, the movie did a billion at the worldwide box office so far. I mean, that's because they, you know, got a, an acting, you know, um, what's the word? You know, hot, hot, hottie with a body, Mr. Jason Momoa. <laughs> Well, and Mara looked... Oof. But, did you see it yet, Philip? I have not seen it. I'm probably going to watch it tomorrow. But I'm just... You I, kind of have to. I, I really need to. Is it actually good? Yes. It okay. makes up for all of the Justice League and Batman v Superman shenanigans. I don't think anything can make up for that. It You're does. saying nothing <laughs> can make up for it? Yes. You might be right, but... <laughs> uh, this is... You know, it'll do an okay job at it. So we should probably mention the fact that this is the highest grossing DC film since Dark Knight Rises. Yes! And then, and then Philip and I had a little disagreement earlier that Dark Knight Rises, to me, is garbage. On fire. On fire garbage. And Philip apparently loves that uh, I, movie. I love that movie, okay? First off, it... It is the best Batman story told in film yet. Uh, no. Uh, Dark Knight Rise. Or no, the, the original Dark Knight, I think, is better. Okay, I, I disagree on that because of the fact that as much as Heath Ledger, Ledger's Joker... Guys, it's okay. I 100% abstain from this argument. I'm just going to whisper over their argument the entire time. Shut up, Tim. It's 100% nobody, okay. Nobody cares. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares what you have to say, Tim. No, I'm, I'm just going to argue a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, just threw, I just threw a pack of gum at Tim. <laughs> okay, like, Dark Knight Rises brings up the point of the, of the Dark Knight, like, entirely. Like, everything that that movie was trying to convey in its moral and its story was proven as point in that movie. Uh, I, I don't catch your meaning. Batman became the hero Gotham needed and deserved, like, in that movie. That is the point. It caps off the trilogy perfectly. It has one of the best endings out of any comic book movie I've ever seen. You mean the ending that makes no fucking sense? It makes perfect sense. How did he escape a nuke? He's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the a argument. viable explanation. No, no, the argument that wins all arguments when it comes to no, Batman. No, 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 he's I'm Batman. sorry. I'm going to ask you to defend that point. Just because he's Batman doesn't mean he can survive a nuke. There's no way he would have been able to get... Do you, know, do you have any idea the level of fallout a nuke has? There's no time that he would have had to avoid that shit. He was in the fucking thing when it went off. Even if he was close to it, he would have been blinded by its flash. He's Batman. And tough guys don't look at explosions, so... <laughs> tough guys <laughs> don't look... Anyway. That's, fair. That's a fair point. But just, just giving the explanation of, oh, he's Batman, that doesn't fucking work for me. It's gotta make sense. It's gotta be plausible, and it certainly fucking wasn't. The twist but Casey, in that... but Casey, he's Batman. Do I have something else over here I could throw at you? But the twist in that movie where, like, you're like, oh, you know, Bane is uh, Ra's al Ghul's, you know, child. And then it's like, no, it wasn't. And it was the chick all along. That was amazing. That, that was a good me. twist. I did that like that. I did, and I don't get thrown I did like the Talia al Ghul reveal. That was pretty neat. Like, I was, you know, I was thinking, where are they going with this? And that's where they went with it. And I don't yeah. Know. The the thing is is uh, Tom Hardy, they did a good job at portraying how intelligent Bane actually is, is supposed to be, because like in Batman and Robin, you know, fucking Bane was just you know, you can sum up that in his entire performance in that movie with monkey business. Um, whereas the fact that Bane is actually a genius, like in the comic books, he's like one of Batman's greatest. Rivals, and they. I like that they portrayed him as being an intelligent mastermind villain because that's what he's supposed to be. 
I also want to bring up that well, sewer. The voice is dumb. The voice is dumb. The voice is dumb. <laughs> but uh, Bane, while being an intelligent mastermind, does lose that with Venom. Yeah, of course he does. I'm just saying, like, they did a good job of portraying the fact that Bane is actually an intelligent person. I, I just want to bring this up, though. Like, that fight in the sewers is also one of the best done, like, fight scenes out of any DC movie ever. I like, like that fight. Scene. That fight scene. See, you're, you're noticing more points about the movie now because that was a uh, that was a like, killer. I can like parts about a movie and still think it's a bad movie. Like no. Okay, per- perfect example. Um, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, the Room with Tommy Wiseau. That movie is awful, but there are parts in there that I love, that everybody loves. It's a cult classic at how it's bad comical. it is. They're comical. They're yeah. comical, though, because they're so bad. That movie has so many good, genuinely well-shot scenes. Like Well-shot and making him good like cinematography does not mean it's a well-written movie. The story is great, okay? It the is story the is archive. dumb. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to throw this at you, okay? The first Nolan Batman movie, uh, Batman Begins. Begins, yes, is also better than The Dark Knight. I think it is the perfect way to tell an origin story for a superhero, and everybody who is doing an origin story should watch that movie. You're about to catch these hands, Philip. Because <laughs> you're basically saying, out of that entire trilogy, Dark Knight is the worst. I am saying Dark Knight is the worst movie out of that trilogy, and they're all great movies. <laughs> Hey guys. Yes. Fun test for you. Rewatch all of them. And then see which one you like more. Tim, quit breathing so hard. It's literally terrible. It's like right on the mic. It sounds like rolling thun- yeah, thunder. Yeah, there you outside. go. That's that's a good spot for your microphone. That's better. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I got. I got to say. I got to say. Like, Dark Knight. In my opinion. In my opinion, my infallible, always right opinion, <laughs> is is the worst movie out of the Nolan Batman trilogy. Okay. To be fair. Like, obviously, I was biased at first because, like, I was crazy. I'm, like, I'm a huge Joker fan. That's like my favorite villain out of all comics. And I loved Heath Ledger's performance. I have gone back and watched it since I first was, like, crazy about Dark Knight. And I do find Heath Ledger's performance in that just a little bit cheesy. Um, As an adult. As, like, an adult with a, you know, more developed palette now. I still like that movie, though. I still think it's a great movie. Um, And there are a lot of fantastic shots in there. And if Heath Ledger's performance wasn't like, tone down the cheese just a little bit. He has a fantastic wardrobe. Okay. Sam, I can hear myself on your mic. It's not that bad. It's enough for me to notice. Anyway, uh, no, my big thing behind, behind all Joker performances is that Cesar Romero's performance will always be the best because of the fact that, like, he straight up painted over his beard. Or his mustache. mustache. Yes. Yeah. I mean, my girlfriend would totally agree with you with that. Like, I just have to say, like, that that's wild right there. That is wild. Yeah. Well, the thing was, is Caesar Mero thought that nobody would recognize him. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I am excited for Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker, though, because I think he can I'm truly... Super stoked about that. I truly think he could do, be the best Joker performance we've had because he is so in depth. Yeah, he is super method. Um, <laughs> that movie. Tim, that do you movie, have any opinions? No. That that. Not on. Not on. Why are you even on this podcast? I have, I have no opinions out about Jokers or Batman movies. Tim not that political, I. He's politically correct. He won't. He won't say it because he doesn't want to make either of us mad. So. I've had opinions and I've expressed them, but Tim's generally like, Tim's I just like, don't Jared care. Jared Leto's the best Joker ever. Uh, well, since we saw like two scenes of him, who the fuck knows? Yeah, doesn't look good, but no, he was not good. 
I okay. I, so I his, his performance was cringy and awful. He's I like, did. I saw two scenes. It's bad. Yep. I dig Jared Leto's Joker. I dig it. Like I really do. Well, I'm I, sorry. You're just wrong, Philip. <laughs> would would you would you like a bigger shovel? I equate Jared Leto's <laughs> Joker to the old school like old school golden age Joker. Like, in modern times, if you took that representation, the Joker was a gangster. He wasn't a terrorist. Like, he was We've had like, this conversation before. He was the like a bank robber. Fine. He robbed banks and stuff. Like, that's... No, that's wasn't fine. This, like, like, I get that. The first episode he was on this happened? Yeah, we've had this conversation before. I do appreciate that the updated gangster style, that's what a gangster would yes. look like in nowadays. Yes. However, his actual voice and performance was fucking awful and cringy. Well, you there know, you go. Is the world ready for a black Joker, though? <laughs> there can't be because his skin is white. You'd never be able to tell. I mean, if he can play the part, then he's more than welcome to. Whoever the black Michael person B. Jordan is, Jordan is the Joker. I think we've had this conversation before too. We've never had this conversation. <laughs> we've spoken about Michael B. Jordan a as lot. as other as characters. Superman. Yes. So Which I'm like, I'm like, why, like. Okay. I, 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 I'm not hating on him because he's black, but Superman's white, and like, I'm I'm not against it because like there's black Superman and he's and Miles, uh, shit, Morales, I think his name is Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, he's, he's a great character. I like him. Um, but Superman is well, okay. Superman, like he's always so, the same. No, it's not, it's not no, like no. another Superman taking whoa, 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 whoa. out the what? Whoa, whoa. There is a black Superman. It, it's uh, his name was uh, Val something. He's Kryptonian. Just saying. Is he actually Superman? Yes. He takes up Superman's role when some really weird stuff happens, and somehow Superman ends up working for Darkseid. And Google it. Just Google it. You got a computer? I'm googling it right now. Like. Okay, okay, wait. I've I've got it. Okay, <laughs> Tracy Morgan <laughs> as the Joker. <laughs> yes. Oh. What you gonna uh. do, Superman? I got a gun. <laughs> Well, like, you're missing the fact that, like, Tracy Morgan has, like, let's be honest, he's got a mush mouth going on. So, like, what you gonna do about it, Superman? I got gun. <laughs> there you go. That's my mm. favorite Joker. Um, Eric Andre as the Joker. No. Poor choice of words. <laughs> Eric Andre, just no. Just, just Eric, Eric Andre. Andre as the Joker. No. He already no. is the Joker. Hannibal yeah. Burris is Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a like freaking Joker comes out and he's like, you know, what are you gonna do, Superman? Got a gun, and Hannibal Burris is just like, whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's my pick as Joker is Eric Andre because he already. That's is my pick as Superman is Hannibal Burris. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you mad at me when I'm right? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that's that's. <laughs> I was watching uh, Eric Andre clips with my brother because he's never seen the Eric Andre show, and he was like, <sighs> "This is mean." Like that was his response: "Is like this is so mean," and I'm like, "That's the point." Yeah. Hey, like, hey, Philip. Yeah, Philip. Your brother was blessed up until you decided to show him that garbage. <laughs> Eric Andre show is the greatest thing ever. No. No, it's garbage. You don't like oh. Eric Andre? No. There are some bits I love. You ever seen the make it purple bit? See, I don't I don't like the street bits. I don't like the uh, I don't like the street bits. I like the in studio bits. Just all the interview stuff I like, like <laughs> Steve by the way, Steve Harvey is Aquaman. Oh jeez! Oh my no. God! Are we all do? Are we doing an all POC DC EU? Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock? Either one. It's your choice. As Flash. 
What? <laughs> I like either. But I think Chris Rock Ryan would be a better Reynolds Flash. as Green Lantern. No, oh, why would you do that, Philip? Why would you do that? I watched that movie for the first time not that long ago. How much did you hate it? I, Wait, I, no. No, no, no. I got it. Jackie Chan is Superman. Chris Tucker is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but they have no superpowers and <laughs> it's just and rush, it's hour literally rush hour three rush hour three it's just rush hour three branded as dc movie wait 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 wait, wait, wait. Owen why not wilson. owen wilson as batman <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's Shanghai, Shanghai, <laughs> Shanghai <laughs> Night <laughs> with a k yeah, <laughs> shanghai, <laughs> shanghai, shanghai noon oh my god Shanghai night you, with a K. You pee on the towel and it breaks the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to okay, start wait. writing a list. Jane list. We'll, Smith we're gonna... as Superman and Jackie Chan as <laughs> Batman. But it's just the karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's start building our cast here. So Superman, uh, we said was going to be what? Tracy Morgan? No, the Joker. Wait. Jo- Joker was Tracy Morgan. Yeah, we'll so, the who's being Superman? Superman. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is the as Superman. Okay. Okay. And. I feel like we could pick somebody better for Superman because I do I I do agree with you that Owen Wilson would be a good Flash. Yeah. Nick Cage as Superman. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> And Teen Titans go to the movies, which is, like, my favorite DC movie. And we'll go ahead and put that down. So Nick Cage is Superman. Batman is Jackie Chan. Flash is Owen Wilson. Uh, Green Lantern can't be black because he's actually supposed... Well, no, no, no. He was black. Nope. He just... Uh... It's two different. There's Hal Jordan and uh, John Stewart. Gotcha. And Guy Gardner and Kyle Rayner. So we need to pick somebody who's way off um, racial brand. Wait, 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 wait. I, I want to go out there for a second, okay? And Do it. We need a strong female lead for Wonder Woman, okay? Strong female lead. So. Uh, Betty White. No, no, no. Who's, who's <laughs> the chick? Who's the chick that is in all of the uh, in all of the. Uh, 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 Philip, I'm going to stop you the right there. Sandra Bullock. She's always in the movies with Sandra Bullock. No. No, I no, can no. Never remember her name. She's no, in Ghostbusters. No. What's her name? Just, just. Ooh, Jenny McCarthy? Not Jenny McCarthy. No, no. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy as Wonder Woman. Just I, no. I don't think you and I are thinking the same person. Hold on, Melissa McCarthy. Philip. Philip. Miranda Cosgrove. Oh no, you were right. I was. <laughs> uh, we were thinking <laughs> the same right. person. That's right. We're thinking the same person. Melissa McCarthy as Wonder Woman. Who was? Can you not who hear me? Who did I just say? Jenny McCarthy? Who's Jenny McCarthy? Jenny McCarthy is like the Playboy model who doesn't believe in vaccinations. Hello? Oh. I can hear you. Well, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, uh, okay. We were just ignoring you. Yeah, Tim, your opinion doesn't <laughs> matter. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Melissa McCarthy as Wonder Woman. I'm creating a Word document for this. <laughs> I was, I, I literally don't know who you're talking about there uh she was the one she was the woman in bridesmaids and um here uh let she's me show a bigger you your lady picture. she's a bigger lady tim oh well then yeah that's hilarious uh i don't know if i could show it to you from here because i would have to turn my webcam just, just look at that button you're uh, well you're using your phone anyway tim Whatever. The, the big lady in the Ghostbusters remake. The fat lady. Okay. You know who I'm talking okay. about. I had to say the yeah. F word. Yeah. I don't think... I mean... Yeah, I guess. I guess. Wait. Wait. Everybody wait. Danny DeVito is dark side. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Danny DeVito as, as like... Dark side. Danny DeVito as, like, the kid version of Shazam. No, no, no. Danny DeVito as Flash. Oh, my 
<laughs> and Owen Wilson could be Green Lantern. Oh God. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I like this. Owen Wilson, he's like, I'm gonna be playing every role in this movie by the end of it. <laughs> he just keeps getting further down the list. Right? First he started top billing, and now he's down to like fourth, fourth banana. <laughs> okay, and um, we need Aquaman, and I and I've got the perfect Aquaman for you, The Rock. Mm, no. The Rock as Aqu- he's in everything. He has to be. No. Yeah, but he need, we're, we're we're trying to make people who uh, like super don't fit the role. Okay. Uh, who plays who plays uh, Spencer? <gasps> ben Affleck is Aquaman. <laughs> no, who plays Spencer? I I, I don't know. I... Spencer and what? In iCarly. Uh, uh, I can't remember. That I don't guy. actually know his name. Give me just a second. But yeah, that guy. I like that guy. As Aquaman. <laughs> Spencer in iCarly. I used to know his name. Uh, it's something like Trainer. Jerry Trainer. I like that one. I like that guy. Um, I okay, like what's our cast, there. Casey? So, so far, we have Nicolas Cage as Superman, Jackie Chan as Batman, <laughs> Danny DeVito as Flash, Owen Wilson as Green Lantern, Wonder Woman as Melissa McCarthy, and uh, I guess Jerry Trainer is Aquaman for right now, but I feel like we could dig deeper. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. I think we could dig deeper in that. Yeah, I think Daddy Longneck fun. as get the get the meme crowd out there. Daddy Longneck is as... no, <laughs> no Daddy. Nobody can Longneck. understand that guy. You ever actually seen the videos with him in it? <laughs> you can't understand either of those guys though. So who? The the, the the big neck guy and the long neck guy, like both of them oh, okay. make no sense whatsoever when they're together. So. No, not at all. Uh, let's see. Who who we get to play Aquaman? See, the reason why I say no to Rock is because A, he's already literally playing Black Adam. And B, he is um he's too close to what you would expect. Yeah. How about Josh Peck for (laughs) 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 That's actually pretty funny. (laughs) Oh boy. (laughs) I think I think we need to move on, guys. No. (laughs) This is the episode now. We're not talking about anything else. (laughs) I think I think we've hit the end of the roster. Who else is part of the main cast of Justice League? Uh Cyborg. Oh, whatever. Yeah, let, we might as well talk about Young Justice if we're going to talk about Cyborg. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the yeah. next one. <laughs> so, in Young Justice, they they referenced Killing Joke, and that's canon now. Yep. Yes, which it means, is. Which means the molestation of Barbara Gordon is also canon. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> and for anybody who has not watched, um, because it's, we're literally just going to say referenced, because... The first six episodes have only been out for uh, about a week now for the first three. And then uh, two days for the second three. Tim, do you pay for the DC streaming service? Yes, I do. You're cucked. No. DC cucked you, dude. I'm paying $8 and I have access to so many shows that I actually enjoy. You're so cucked. Does it have Smallville? Is Smallville on there? I actually haven't looked that deep into it. No. That sucks. But I know, like, every... If I could get uh, Smallville, like, like, that'd be worth it. Like, all of the Batman and Superman shows and movies and everything is on there. But... Lame, uh, old and lame. Either way, you know, to avoid spoilers and whatnot for the... For the Killing jo- Young Justice. Don't spoil... Young you could spoil for... a Killing Joke, like... No, I but for Young Justice Outsiders... um. The entire, the entire reference is actually, like, really hard to miss. So I don't know why it's the one thing really being talked about in the story. But um, that's all I got on that. I mean, I haven't, I haven't watched Young Justice yeah, yet. So, yeah. the, the... Tim, you pick bad stories. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so, so. <laughs> 
If anybody does not want to be spoiled about literally anything, Tim, you're that's literally fine. spoiling a children's cartoon. You could say whatever you want, and no one would care. Oh, I don't want to spoil Steven Universe. <laughs> I mean, I like Steven Universe, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Philip's an asshole. Anyway. Yeah, but um, it's no Clarence. Anyway. Eh, I don't know. I haven't watched too much Clarence. That, Basically, like the entire, uh, the entire, spoil, the entire thing that references Killing Joke is just that Barbara Gordon's in a wheelchair and his Oracle. Oh, okay, whatever. That's that's literally it so far. I mean, that means then she can canonically got shot. And, yeah. And molested. That gets Casey's tidbits spoiling. <laughs> I mean, I like Killing Joke. I, I think that was a super way, a super fucked up way to fuck with somebody. You know, but I mean, it is shoots, the shooter, paralyzer, stripper naked, show naked pictures of her to her dad. That would certainly fuck up anybody's day. I mean, it is the Joker, though. Yeah. I mean, it is a testament to how far he will go to prove a point. Okay. Well, I guess we'll move on. Last okay. story is kind of like a cool one because Bungie is splitting with Activision, so maybe Destiny 3 won't suck. By the way, Howie Mandel hey. as Cyborg. Hold on. Good deal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, no we deal. don't even actually... So the whole Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 thing was, as far as we understand, primarily Activision's idea, as well as was like this whole DLC scheme, the microtransactions, the way the story went, because it was supposed to go entirely differently. Everything as far as we know, was fucked by Activision. And But I will say, Destiny the Destiny games play very well when you're actually shooting stuff. I will yeah. say that, because they are pretty much Halo. They are Halo. But... Yeah. Well, see, and now all we're just... Literally all we're waiting for is just to see what they end up doing, ultimately. Because they can continue down this path that they have laid out for them, or they can say, no, Destiny 2 is just going to be the last one, and they can just keep on adding content to it. But who knows what they're actually going to do. Right. I I kind of hope that with this split happening, we get something... One second, guys. I got food. Did he order a pizza from the place he worked at? I don't know. Is he literally picking up a pizza right now in the middle of the podcast? Well, I think he got his delivery to his door. That's what I'm saying, no. So, like, not now pick, he has not to. Not picking up a pizza. I mean, like, receiving a pizza in the middle of oh, the yeah, podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, get the podcast guy. Get the pizza guy on the... <laughs> get the pizza guy on the podcast. Philip? Philip. 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 Phil. I think, I think the pizza guy would probably not be comfortable with that. Like, uh... Give him a bigger tip. So, while... <laughs> While we're on, while we have a second, I also want to posit Paul Giannotti as Cyborg or George Takei. Oh, nice George Takei. George Takei. George Takei. Uh, because like right now, I don't, I don't know what IMDb considers B-list celebrities because there's some heavy, pretty high-profile names in this list I'm looking at right now. We could have, so I mean, we could go down the entire list of the Justice League if we wanted to with this. Yeah. Don't talk crap about me. I'm going to see this when I go look at the recording again. We're not talking We're not. crap about you. We just you. want you to get the pizza guy on the podcast. Is he wearing Pokemon pajamas? He might be. You guys do know that I, I watch this when I go and edit it, right? We, of course Did you do. Did you get? Yeah. Oh, of course. You d you edit a podcast without watching it. I'm gonna cut this in right you now just, because you just, I you had just... to go get food at the door, and I know you guys were talking crap about me. We were hey. not talking crap about hey. you. We were just trying to get you to get the uh, pizza guy on the podcast. Oh, it, literally, it, that was all we were trying it's to do. Literally, it's literally his brother John. Oh uh, well, that would have been disappointing. Yeah, yep. he, he's boring. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> did you just call him disappointing? <laughs> He's disappointing, yeah. No! <laughs> anyway. Damn it, Philip! 
You can't just talk shit about people like that. I mean, you can. I, 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 I literally can. You. I work with him, so, like, you know. <laughs> I've never I, I've never worked with him, but, you know, I mean, I work with him at the same place, so. There's that. And I know his brother, so. <sighs> also, I feel like I want to laugh that you ordered pizza from the place you work at. Well, I get 10% off, and it's pasta, yeah. by the way. I, my, so, I, I'm quitting my pizza delivery job, but... I won't order public? from there. Like, can we, you talk about that? Or did you already tell them before this? Oh yeah, the yeah, okay. absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm quitting that. My last day is Saturday, but I don't order from there because I don't want any one of them to know where I live. Why? You're always paranoid about people knowing where you live, Tim. No, I just, I just, no. David Duchovny, Tim Allen, or Mike Myers is cyborg. All three. Uh, Mike, my... They pull in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and they just trade <laughs> off the role, like, partway through the movie. <laughs> That'd actually be pretty funny. Yep. So, where was I, I like getting that. at? I really I really hope Bungie makes another Halo-esque shooter. Like, without all the online crap, without adding in, like, the boring, like, literally jumping through menus to go places. So, just... no, no, no. Like, okay, so, they fixed the menu jumping in Destiny 2, I'll tell you that much. But with the whole, uh, the, the boring part of it, the place where a lot of people get their disconnect with this game, because it is Halo, but in order to get the good gear, you have to grind. And it is a very steep grind. It's kind of like taking Halo and World of Warcraft and just, just get going rid of, like this. Just get rid of the online part, make a good single player story, and then the online part just be like, you know, normal Halo style arena shooter, whatever. Might as well just make it sequel to Halo then. You know, you they can, don't have that anymore. You know, they can make their own well, game that's like Halo and make it a lot of fun. You can actually just play it like that. You can just play through the story and then just do Crucible for your online PvP that's like Halo. Yeah, but if you don't grind, then you don't get the good gear. Playing PvP gets you the good gear too. Yeah, but... <laughs> Playing PvP is part of the grind, in fact. Yeah, but actual mission grinding is where you get a lot of the good stuff, and I just don't like it. And there's so many menus! There, It looks like it's a game, like, straight up an online game from, like, eight, nine years ago. Like, it's not, it is not user-friendly. At all. Like, I'm gonna say that now, like, that's my biggest gripe with Destiny, is like, it reminds me a ton of EVE Online. The amount of menus you go through in that game to do something. Eve Online is for... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote Ben Yahtzee Croshaw on this one. Uh, Eve Online is for the nerds who are to nerds what nerds are to normal people. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I was just going to say... Um, I don't think it's as involved as... I, I mean, maybe it's just because I've been playing it like, and I understand the menus now. It just doesn't feel that involved to me. My only issue with it is just that there's a lot of loading time every single time you open a menu. Yeah. I have never gotten that far in Destiny 2. I did get up to the level cap, the first level cap in Destiny 1 before all the DLC takes over, and I'm not buying any of that DLC because I'm not a cuck. Tim, <laughs> what I'm going to say about Destiny is I watched you play it, and it made me want to stop living on purpose. <laughs> Philip, KYS, keep yourself safe. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about I, feel good on here. <laughs> I, I think that's as good of a time as any. This is going to be kind of a short episode, but it's a good welcome back, and uh, I guess we'll talk at you next week. Ow. Yeah, and hopefully you guys will be hearing me out of my actual headset instead of my fucking we'll, we'll laptop microphone. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. We'll get our technical goofs figured right out with now. this new format. It looks right really now. good. I, I'm going to have to send you guys a screenshot of what this looks like because it looks so much spiffier. It's a lot spiffier. Yeah, definitely send us a screenshot. We would love yeah. to see that. And, and anyway, guys. Casey's mic. Yay. We'll talk Yay. about you next week, guys. I'm Philip. I'm Tim. Oh, hi. Sorry. I was going to say, you're in the middle, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Casey. Talking to you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>